Okay, welcome to Suburban Living. My name is Ed. We certainly hope this video finds you doing well today. We're going to have a little segment today that we call Cooking at the Cabin. My buddy Rodney calls me Cookie the Camp Chef. Normally we cook uh, fried potatoes, eggs, bacon, sausage, those type of things at the cabin, but I thought we'd make a meal here at the cabin today, something that my family and I like to do at home. It's very simple. I call it kidney bean hash. My wife likes to call it bean hash because we can put black beans, other types of beans, but I like kidney beans in this. What this takes is three potatoes. We're going to use three potatoes because there are three of us here eating today. Just uh, very small potatoes. Eggs are going to go on top of it once it's done. We use celery, also a carrot. We like to put a few jalapenos in ours just to make it a little bit spicier. We don't go crazy with those. We don't put a lot. And then of course our kidney beans. A little bit of oil in the skillet. I'm going to get these potatoes peeled and carrot and I'm going to show you we like to dice them uh, rather uniformly. We want everything to be the same size in this hash so just stay tuned. We'll get these peeled up and be back with you in just a moment. Okay let me show you how I cube these up. I like to take these potatoes and I just cut off any any places that um, I think they might be bad. I leave the skin on them. Um, I like the skin so we cut these up. I'm going to say about a quarter inch thick and then after that I slice them about a quarter inch that way also turn those and I cube those up that way we have these nice little squares and it makes the hash uniform if you have these cut square then they all cook and get done about the same time Okay, we've got these uh, potatoes cubed up. I'm going to put these potatoes in the skillet. The skillet's probably a little bit too hot right now. I like to get the potatoes in first because I want them to be cooked completely through. I don't necessarily mind if the carrots have a little crunch to them. I like them to be done, but that isn't really uh, that critical. And so we put these in the skillet, and then uh, carrots come next. Potatoes and carrots take the longest. We're going to cut out the celery and put it in here in just a few moments. We're going to let this fry a little bit. Kidney beans, we have to open the can, let them drain. Those go in pretty much last. These kidney beans, they need to basically be warmed through and just cooked through a little bit, but they're already done, already cooked in the can. Also, at this time, you need to put salt and pepper in. Just do this to your taste, but I salt and pepper it uh, at different levels, and I also put a little salt and pepper on it when I do put it on the plate. Okay, the potatoes and carrots have cooked through a little bit, so we added the celery. And now we're going to add just, just a few jalapenos into the mix just to give it just a little bit of heat. We don't want to put too many in because it'll make it uh, kind of hot. Depends on how much you like, just put those in to your taste. Okay, the potatoes are almost cooked through, so now I'm going to add the kidney beans. If I were doing this at the house, I would either pour these in a strainer and run water over them or keep running water in the can so I can get that uh, kind of bean, bean slime, you know what I'm talking about, out of the beans. I don't really want that in this dish. And so we'll throw those kidney beans in there. Okay guys, this is done. I'm going to put this on plates and then I'm going to fry some eggs in this same skillet. That way I'm only dirty one skillet and it'll stay hot enough because it doesn't take very long to fry the eggs. While that hash is finishing up, we're going to get some coffee on. I'll show you guys how we do that. I just want to show you how we make coffee here at the cabin. At home, we we'll use a bun coffee maker, and it takes about three minutes. It takes a little longer here at the cabin, but as we're making this coffee, you can do this at home with a pot on your stove. I have an old-fashioned enamel-covered coffee pot here. I put about uh, this much water in, I guess. Water up about a little bit lower than the spout. I don't know how many how many uh, cups that would serve exactly. And then I put about four heaping tablespoons of coffee. This isn't scientific. You're going to have to see what, what your taste is. But I like about four. I just drop it right in the water. No filter. Nothing else in the water. Nothing fancy. Put about those four spoons 
in the water. Turn the fire on, get that boiling. I want that to boil kind of slow. And I also want to watch it because this will boil over and it will make a terrible mess. I'll get back with you when uh, that uh, coffee starts boiling. I took a lid off to show you that is boiling. Now this can be done on a wood stove. We've done it that way before, but it takes a lot longer, so I just put it here on the burner. Now I mentioned a moment ago, be careful because this could boil over. I almost did it. It came right up to the top of the spout. You see, in fact, a little bit poured down the side, so be very careful. Uh, it can make a terrible mess. This needs to boil for about two minutes. All right, after this coffee has boiled for about two minutes, we have to get the grounds to settle. Now I read and hear all kinds of things on videos. Some people crack an egg and actually drop a raw egg in the coffee and theoretically the grounds will attach to that and then it won't pour out into your coffee. Some people pour this through a strainer of some kind or cheesecloth. Some people even put the egg shells themselves in and they say that cuts the bitterness. What I found, boiling this coffee for about two minutes cuts the bitterness of the coffee. Makes a very good cup of coffee, but there are occasional grounds. What I like to do is just take cold water like this and I pour a little bit of cold water down the spout. Now what that does, as I overflow some of it there, what that does, that cold water shocks uh, the grounds and they fall to the bottom. Also cleans out the spout a little bit. And then also, this is a metal pot, and so get a pot holder of some kind, be careful, and don't burn yourself. And then when you pour, just be careful and pour slow. Now you probably can't see, I'm not seeing any grounds at all coming out into this coffee. But as you get down toward the bottom of the pot, there will be some grounds come out with it. This is called cowboy coffee, and we like it a lot. Hope you try it. I hope it works well with your breakfast. All right, it's all done. We have our coffee done. We have our hash done. We fried the eggs, and we put those on top of the hash like this. I like my eggs still with a little bit of yellow. You might like yours a little more done than that. It's always customary to take a bite of anything you make and put it on YouTube, and you act like you like it, but um, I really do like this. It's really good, and so... We just eat it in this way. 